Hello, YouTubers. This is the Nubifier. On the 22nd of March, 2024, there was an hour long Star Citizen Live character customizer. More detail about the thing we just talked about. Here's what you need to know. Questions were taken from chat. Questions were taken from Spectrum. We had Forrest, Andre, Jacob, Gabriel, and Andreas. These developers would answer and discuss this new feature with us for about an hour. Chat asked Jared about a studio tour and Jared said soon TM. They confirmed that along with the new heads, you'll be able to have several old heads. They said that there are some secret heads in the background that could be accessed somehow, more to follow. They said in total, they plan to give us 60 heads for this next release. Forrest said that all heads, regardless of being old heads or new heads, are brought to the highest visual quality of head available. Jacob went further to say that all the skin tones were also adjusted. Gabriel said that the new blending system with the ability to pull vertices is super cool to play with. Along with the old hairstyles, they are adding new ones for blending. Currently, there is no way to use the customizer when you're in the verse, but they do have plans in the future to allow you to adjust your tune at a barber or a similar location. And the current plan is to just let us adjust each time we log in so that we can test this new system. And Jared really liked this idea because he noted that even at the Manchester office, there are developers who drastically change their look as often as every two weeks. They said they're very confident that this new system is very close to complete, but they did warn us that there is still a chance that as improvements are made, that might result in slight changes to how your saved character might look. There are no plans to offer changes to the character save file outside of the game. And then Jared said that the file is encrypted and he basically said, go try to f mess with it. He actually thinks that we're going to crack the code, right? They have no current plans to let us preview our character with various expressions. They said that FOIP could be added to the customizer. They said that there are more baked in animations in the review page, which are funny. Star hair and star beard are both physicalized and will flow and move. And those are the official names for those features. And they said that star hair and now star beard are based on star cloth, the original tool set. The hair currently has a maximum length of about shoulder length, and that is done to prevent clipping, adding or removing head covering, removes and changes the hair below to preserve performance and to prevent clipping. Changing the color of individual strands of hair isn't part of the current plan because they said that the blending is actually quite robust. Jared then ignored my question about adding to pay gameplay for bald characters, despite chat seeming to very much like it. And then Jared asked the entire internet to message John Crew directly about getting Ace Ventura hair. Body types were next. They're somewhat limited due to the metrics for height, and they are somewhat limited due to the metrics for size. Changing the head shape while remaining metrically correct is fine, but changing an entire body has challenges with armor, clothing, attachment points, and other factors. And even more difficult as the explanation went on, because these would also upset all of the baked in animations, drinking was used as an example. If you add or reduce to the length of the arm by a centimeter, the cup during the drinking animation would be too high or too low. They continue to look for a solution to this problem because they do agree that a universe populated completely by people with the same body size isn't ideal, but they also expanded on how this would become a balance issue in the future because many competitive players might decide to use very small or very skinny characters to reduce their hitbox during a firefight. Less realistic eye colors are obviously possible. They're exploring that and they went on a tear about a bunch of facewear conversation that all sounded quite theoretical and unlikely to make it into the game. That's it. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.